What's in store is a great opportunity for merchants in the area to participate and focus and showcase in on their merchandise. What's in store has been on the air for over a year now, and already we've had many success stories. It gives the marketplace a visual image of your merchandise. It's a chance for you to impact them in a different way. Uh, instead of just the normal ways of advertising in Northern Westchester through print and through uh, radio, you now have the opportunity to feature your product and your services in a television format. This is done in a very interesting way. It's called an infomercial, and you have three minutes to showcase and feature your services and your products. What's in store? Jefferson Valley Mall's own cable show continues to increase visibility within our market area. A recent article in the Jones Report talked about the success of what's in store and its good positive possibilities for advertising alternatives. It's exciting. It's dynamic. It's the place to be for all community and merchandise events. Jefferson Valley Mall, the heartbeat of the community. In less than three years, Jefferson Valley Mall has achieved the reputation of generating some of the highest percentage increases and in dollars per square foot in the entire country. Our market has expanded from a local to a regional center, supported by a base of over 220,000 people within a 35-mile radius. Let's take a look at some of the results of careful marketing strategies to increase shoppers' enjoyment and expenditures. Spring's Art of Living brought thousands of people to the mall with a crowd-pleasing visit from Rainbow Bright. The Art of Living in Westchester County was reflected in the fashion pages of the mall's Spring Magazine that arrived in 115,000 homes. Local models were seen viewing artwork in the mall's own rotating gallery. The gallery has served as a forum for community artists. Our first permanent collection exhibit was featured at the Yorktown Museum in spring, resulting in hundreds of dollars in free publicity. From Mother's Day to Father's Day, a Sunday serenade presented six weeks of exciting serenades in the food court, from cool jazz to folk songs. Great crowds were generated for back-to-back -back competition with a lip-sync rockin' video contest and our own annual model search. Audiences enjoyed our version of putting on the hits along with fast-paced merchandise breaks targeted to the gift-giving season. Winners of our model search went on to win honors at the International Modeling Competition in New York City. On-mall video was utilized to maximize all of these events. Meanwhile, upstairs in the community room, the award-winning Women's Network continues to be a nucleus of activity for the community. A special award was designated to this mall-supported organization by the Fairfield Westchester Chapter of the Public Relations Society of America, along with front-page coverage on the Westchester Women's News. A summer stock super sidewalk sale provided some great end-of-season bargains and Broadway entertainment with the summer stock playbill reaching 100,000 homes in July. A recent study revealed that our local shoppers visit the mall on an average of 17 times within a three-month period. It's more important than ever that our events continue to impact the community. Over the last two years, the recent baby boom in Westchester has led to increased events targeted to younger children. The average home in Yorktown has over 3.3 people, in contrast to 2.5 in other parts of the county. That's right, we've been strollerized. To impact that market and position ourselves against the Danbury Fair, we are a class act this fall. The class act magazine featuring kids' back-to-school fashions arrived in 115,000 homes in mid-August. Along with collaterals, placemats, tent cards, etc., class act will continue to be our focus through September. And, in the interest of a class act, Miss Piggy's Treasures and Muppetopolis overtook the mall. This exciting exhibit kicked off with a cookie tribute to Kermit's 30th birthday. For a donation to the homeless children of Westchester, a growing problem in the county, cookie lovers would receive a chunk of cookie. 